Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a very, very miserable day in the UK. Do you know what? I was watching TikTok last night, and I was watching all of the videos, and I could tell which ones were filmed in America and which ones were filmed in the UK, because honestly, it looks just miserable on camera. The light here at the moment is terrible. It honestly looks like the US people have like filters because it just makes them all look so, I mean, they are probably all very beautiful, but the lighting out there is insane. And I just couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, that was filmed in America, probably LA. And that was definitely filmed in like the North of England, probably. Random thought to start this Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Today I am off to, Soho farmhouse for the night with the Arden girls. I wasn't able to go before Christmas, so we're making like a little trip of it for January basically, just to sort of pick us up. I'm gonna have a massage, because actually when I was drying my hair yesterday, you would have seen it in my last vlog, I think I've actually like pulled a muscle in my back, so I'm gonna have a massage when I'm there because I actually need it. We're gonna do some flower arranging when we're there. We've got dinner and gin tasting, and it's just gonna be the four of us, which is so nice. So Carrie, myself, and the two ladies from Arden. So it's gonna be a really, really lovely few hours there. I've never stayed at Soho Farmhouse. I do know that it's quite hard to film there because obviously you're not actually allowed to, but we're staying over, so I think I'll be able to like show you more. So that's fine. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing as well. I'm wrapped up warm. I've brought my new bobble hat with me, which I ordered from Amazon, I think, and some shearling gloves. I've then also popped on my new Holland and Cooper coat, which, has this great faux fur, which looks so real. I couldn't believe it. I love the fact that it's faux fur. And that looks nice and cozy, and it is nice and cozy. This sort of like padded, padded jacket like this keep me nice and warm. I bought this for my trip that's coming up, but I thought I'd wear it today. Then I've also got some black page denim jeans on. I'm also wearing a Balmain jumper, the one from my haul over Christmas, which I am obsessed with. I'm so glad I bought those pieces. They are so timeless. And then Chloe boots and Dior bag. Suitcase is packed over there. I'm also, even though it's only one night, I am bringing a holdall because I need to bring my gym kit because they take the luggage because I don't think you check in until like four. Don't ask me what that is in the hallway. It's one of my stalls. I'm gonna go pick up Carrie now. We're driving there. We thought it'd be easier to just drive there. Hair is, oh, just so happy with my hair, guys. You have no idea. Like, this length, I feel like this is the right length for me. Maybe not the, the short length that I was trying to go for. Maybe this nice mid-length. More manageable. But anyway, enough about me and what I'm wearing and how I look. Let's get going. Where are we? Aino! We're going through Aino. Oh my gosh, I love this place so much. One day, I'd like to have a house here just so I can come and stare at my wedding venue. Is that weird? A little bit. Yeah. I'll be like, Ooh. Every time you'd see a bride, you'd be like, no, yes, it's me. My venue. <laughs> Are you ready? So Are you ready? Yeah. No, not yet. Here, this one. Oh, <laughs> that was such a magical day. Oh, I want to do it again. I'd love to have a birthday party there. You're so bougie. I would. Just any excuse to have a party there. I'd love that. For three days again? Yeah. Okay. I'm not organizing it. You are. <laughs> oh, bloody floods. Bloody, bloody, bloody flood. This is why you have a four by four. Dee -dee. God, everywhere is underwater. Oh my goodness. The flooding around where I live is so bad, but look at this. I reckon if it, if it carries on raining, <gasps> a lot of roads are going to go under. Like well, look at this. It was near my house. Whoa. We had that one where it's literally... It looks like a lake and it's not. That's a field. That's a field. <laughs> rain on the plane no. falls differently. The rain the in Spain oh, that's falls <laughs> mainly on the plane. <laughs> that's it. Not the rain on the plane. No. <laughs> Definitely don't want raining in a plane. Oh. We have arrived to Soho Farmhouse and we're kicking off the day with a little horse and cart ride with champagne as well and it's actually just got sunny so we've got blankets as well and we've got the whole crew in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these two! <laughs> you snug so as a bug! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blood's my side! 
what ways you picked up I know, I like it. My no, favourite style of glass. Yeah, as well. just, yeah it's, it's very snazzy. Like, Cheers, I love you. I love you. Good. Cheers, uh, you. Hit him. The rainbow. <laughs> You're part of gold. What are we about to do? Uh, what are we doing? Oh, flower making. Yeah, so we finished up having some lunch and we haven't checked in yet. We check in about four o'clock. We've done a little horse and cart ride, which was lovely. And are you coming to do it? now we're heading to do some forestry, which I'm really excited about. You excited? I'm excited. Good. And also Ali's just texted me to say that our new cat flap is installed. So now I get those notifications that says Mimi has just come home. <laughs> You're so happy about this. I know, one. No, no, no. Yeah. New brand, another new brand. Aww. <laughs> so we'd be like, Lumi has left the cat flap. <laughs> She's so bougie. <laughs> Raph, this is our guest. Hello, so, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Raph, how are you doing? You okay? Wow. <gasps> um, so my agent says I'm not allowed to have any pictures taken from me. Oh, good. Um, that's all. <laughs> You're like a magician. No, I feel like they're really <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, that's so nice. And then this one, before I tell you, show you, I'm going to just say that I'm very proud of this because it's the very first natural product that's entering the mass market in this category. It's vegan friendly, it's got no added preservatives, uh, 43, and it's from Mitchum. Oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god. god! We both look. We both use Mitchum. We both use Mitchum, but you won't use this one. So you, you won't use this one. Like, this, is, this is the first ever one that's going to hit mass market. So you can so finally you can buy a, a natural deodorant in your supermarket in Waitrose Supermarket. That's food. amazing. Four forty nine. I'm. We're all such lovers of flowers. So the moment yeah. that you guys said that we're doing flowers, this is perfect. So I'm going to attempt to teach you uh, kind of a wild rustic kind of country bunch where really. it's beautiful. So I've got white, I know you, you want a new clips which is fine and my drainage, but also got the white roses which I think are really beautiful. These are called First Lady and they smell oh, incredible. Okay. Different to your scent, I think, but still yeah. very beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, lovely. So it's very classic, First Lady. Mm. Then you're I was coming. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit loose. It's a bit spelled together. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, like a chorus who likes to drop in the mic. Yeah. <laughs> I just spent hours making these today. So the sad thing is I've gone to the difference between that and some of the other ones. Like this is an art video. Shut up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 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 Okay. It's nice part. <laughs> I think mine was the worst out of everyone. I think you have a career should YouTube ever fail you. Yeah. <laughs> I say that on everything I do. If YouTube doesn't work out, <laughs> forestry. <laughs> Haberdashery. <laughs> the sommelier. <laughs> Hello. I've got to be honest though, I never like the taste of gin on its own. No. No. But we're gonna 
<laughs> a bit of ice and stir it. <laughs> and make a better bad situation. Really You're gonna yeah. have to take That's it. That's your first cocktail. <laughs> yeah. Bottoms up. <laughs> Ice my drink, I want more ice in my drink. The more ice you have in a drink, the less it will dilute. Which seems kind of counterintuitive, doesn't it? But it means the whole drink stays colder, the ice stays intact, and it doesn't dilute. So if you had a pint full of ice water, then you're left with a pint full of ice when you drink the water. If you've got one ice cube in, by the time you've finished it, it's time to water it. So I think it's good at the moment because we are at a gym taste, so we do want to taste the gym. Hi guys, sorry, that was probably really random there when we jumped to being in the bar, but basically we've come to do a gin tasting, playing thing here. What's this bar called? Pen Yang Bar. I'm in Soho Farmhouse, obviously, so I'm not actually supposed to have my camera out, but he's he's let me film. And I'm about to make some cocktails myself, but I'm really worried that there's a, there's a girl watching me there. <laughs> But we've been trying lots of different gin based cocktails and I'm really blue lit because I'm right in front of the till But oh god, I have someone coming to tell me I'm gonna go down here So now we're gonna do spicy margaritas basically So we've done a few gins and we're gonna do some tequilas now And I think we might do some whiskies as well So I'm hiding down here behind the bar because I can see people <laughs> looking at me But this is really fun. What's your name? Am I, can I see? Okay. We're with Jack. Say hi Jack <laughs> Jack knows everything about everything <laughs> when we think of cocktails we think of a strength and flavor balance start so our strength would be from our booze so our tequila in this case our flavor would be the chilies so it's normally a vegetable or a fruit and a herb so in can taste we use coriander as well we don't use coriander i can just picture you at home you're gonna be like ooh, asparagus <laughs> yeah, So chilies is our flavour and then our boost. So they're the, the kind of things we balance. And then there's two other ways we balance it, and that's sweet and sour. Or sweet and bitter from the brandies. But we're gonna use sweet and sour. So we're gonna use lime juice, um, which I need to go and grab to yeah. yeah, but we're gonna get frothy on it. Oh, frothy. <laughs> no, no, let's pretend no, they're, they're plastic. Um, so we're gonna use agave, agave nectar, so kind of like a honey. Vegan. People think it's vegan, yeah? Yeah, very good. Um, yeah. We're going to shake it really hard, we're going to ice up our tins to the top, we're going to serve them straight up, so no ice. But in terms of spicy, we're going for a lemon and herb at Nando's. Okay, <laughs> so, so when we do the spice, <laughs> the spice is kind of, we always get told to uh, eat a bit of chilli first, you don't have to do this. But sometimes you'll eat a chilli, so this one's not too bad. Because these ones are not as bad, are they? We have our sweet and sour oh, mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I left my pepper in there. The bags are going on top of it. It's going to go, it's still a death of This is the thing I don't have here. Give that a whack on the top oh, I and I'm an angry. And then, and then you end up wearing it. You did, and I'll tell you a story of me trying the tin over. I used to work in a club in Swindon. Very classy, I know. So I had the tin on this way, and I thought it was really cool. So I went like this, and it's hard as I could throw all the content oh, to this poor no. girl who's dressed up to the 19th of boyfriend. I just threw the entire cocktail over her. Oh, and from that God. day, I always hold both sides of the tin, either that or I face the opposite way. Yeah. So we're yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ready? Yeah, ready? Yeah. So give it a nice hard shake. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're ready? injecting air into our mix, we're chilling our mix and we're diluting <laughs> our mix. So now what you're going to do is, when it just splits away, you're going to give it a tap. No, this is the bit I can't Yeah, do. this is the bit oh, everyone yeah, gets stuck yeah. on. So. Right <laughs> is that funny? No, it's the bottom. <laughs> oh, that's really that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That is really yeah. good. Oh, so now... Oh, that smells nice. Just for good? Yeah. It's just like that? Yep. That's it. Oh, I can totally do that. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, all you have to do is buy limes, <laughs> not necessarily lime juice. Robbie, how do you know I quit. This is my yeah. new job. My new vocation. Yeah. Yeah. Along so, with floristry, floristry, haberdashery, and being a sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's It's very spicy. It is quite spicy. Cool. Is, is, is it above a lemon and a herb? It's definitely above a lemon and herb, but... It's, it's above like, lemon and herb? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, so, but it's not like, well, we'll see. We could give them little garnishes, actually. Let's give them little chilli heads. Are we talking Madras level? <laughs> I don't know what Madras is. It's not in my, it's not I, in my vocabulary. I think it's 
Yeah. Carrie, you have to try my concoction. Do I? Yes. I, want I don't tequila. do tequila. But this is a spicy margarita. Yeah, but I don't drink oh, margaritas oh because I don't like tequila. Does it smell good, yeah? Am I doing this for you? I think that you should say yes. Like, I always I'm sorry. What, 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 Sweetheart, I'm, I'm supporting you right now. Thank you. Hand me the margarita. It is absolutely <laughs> Wait, the are, you, margarita. are you ready? That's not the right. What? Did you just stick your tongue out? <laughs> yeah. but I love that. You're I mean, if you're not a tequila oh, flat, if you're not a fan of tequila, it's probably not the drink. That's probably stronger than I would, I've ever had a spicy margarita. Do you know what? If, I'm very proud of your efforts. And I think that you've learned how to make a very lovely margarita it for a seizure. <laughs> 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 Carrie just said to me, she was like, yeah, when drinking my like, spicy margarita, you know the, the term stingring? <laughs> this is what would give you one of those. And I like spice. I love spice. But holy cow, it's like drinking your chili juice. Oh, okay, so this is not lemon and herb. No, it's nowhere near lemon and herb. I love spicy. And then I cut the end off the pan for that. So then we get the flavour of yeah, the chili. So oh, sorry, we're not just looking for spice, we're looking oh. for the flavour of it. Yeah, but you so want a kick, don't you? Yeah, you want a little kick. That's why I did that. Mm. So it makes, it makes me think my throat's closing up. Yeah. I'm so excited! So we finished up dinner and we are full, or I'm full of sushi and sashimi. Carrie's full of vegetables. I'm full of vegetables and rice. Vegetables and rice. And night, night! Night! Carrie! <laughs> 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 I knew you like that! Nine. Thanks, mate. Oh, we've got Pampers outside. They We're know swingers. They've got bikes. Oh, we've got wellies, Carrie. Look, do they know our feet? Yeah. Size? Five. They must know our shoe size. Oh, oh this is gravel. Oh. This is so cute. Oh wow! Look! I love this so much. No wonder they wanted us to come and enjoy yeah. the room. Oh wow, look at all of the cow shed on there. And the sofa on us. And, these. and our little Mitch and deodorant slip. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a game. That's amazing. That these are lovely and it's oh, nice and warm. I've got three pairs of unopened. I bought some with me, cash my bed socks. So this is my third pair. Bougie now. And they've done the truffles, look. Yeah. Oh, this is. And look at these. This is just wonderful, isn't it? Let's get into our pajamas straight away. Yeah. So we've arrived to our room, and this is the first time I'm ever staying at. Soho Farmhouse. Oh my gosh, we've even got bread carry. Not that we can eat it, but that is a good piece of bread. Wow, this is the most gorgeous little kitchen. And then we've even got little picnic blankets up there, picnic baskets, all of this crockery. It's just so cute. And then these little bags of muesli. Mm, I love it. This is the room we're just trying to light the fire but we can't find any matches and then here's all of the stuff that we've been given from elizabeth arden we've got some oh my god milk and sea salt oh, shortbread wow that is really uh, that's like my favorite white company bed socks then we've got the ceramide capsules but in the bougie little what's it called pot and we've got this, I don't know what's in here, so I'm gonna have a look in there as well. And then there's some stuff in there. And I think we've also got some pajamas that I'm obviously gonna get myself into because we've got this very lovely big bed that we're gonna be sleeping in. Sofa here, log burner. And then in here, we've got the bathroom with more good stuff. We learnt about the new Mitchum, which is another brand from Revlon. These are the new, almost all natural deodorants, which I actually don't wear deodorant because I was worried about what it was basically putting in me. So I stopped using it and I always used Mitchum before. So this is a really, really welcome option to be able to use. And then we've also got some cleanser and big shower big toilet and a very sleepy millen right there <laughs> thank you <laughs> no thank you no thank you <laughs> uh, dear Celia thank you for all your love and support being our number one influencer and such a good friend to the Elizabeth Arden brand and me 
and us. <laughs> we love you lots. Oh, we had so much fun, haven't we? I love the fact they thought we'd want time on our own today. I know. They were like, you've got, you've got three hours free. And I was like, well, it's dark, so it's not like I can go off and take pictures. So let's just stay and chat because we haven't seen you guys in ages. It was so nice to just chat and catch up. Ooh, got my name on it. What does this say? Sean Esther. Dear Lydia, enjoy relaxing in your PJs. We are a new purpose-driven brand supporting disadvantaged women. Have a safe night's sleep. Love, Sean. Oh, wow. What a lovely initiative. Yeah. Sean Esther supports the following charity partners to help disadvantaged women to have a safe night's sleep and fulfill their dreams. Let's dream big. The Marlebone Project, the largest homeless centre for women in the UK. Luminary Bakery, providing training and employment to empower women to move forward post-trauma into an exciting future. Wow. And Mercy UK offer a six month residential program for women who are 18 to 30, struggling with low self-esteem, depression, and self-harming behaviors. That is brilliant. Oh, the pockets are down there. <laughs> That's where pockets should be. Yeah, to be fair, that is. And it's got my name there. And then, oh, I'm so gonna put these on now because these are so, and they've got little silver piping. Oh. I have probably more sets of pajamas than I do actual clothes. Fun fact. SPF 50, which is a great SPF, one of my faves. Superstar Skin Renewal Booster, which I op Excuse you, ice machine. It's like it's sending it down the chute, isn't it? Basically, all of this stuff I always have to fight my mum for, and I do always put some aside for her because she loves it just as much as I do. Vitamin C. Part of your three essentials, got to have that, got to have an SPF, vitamin C and a retinol in your life. Great eight, this is the SPF that I'm using at the moment and you would have seen me use this in a previous video. Yep. Yeah, I, just, I literally, I wear this most days. And then this, so this is the Provage Progressive Renewal Treatment and honestly it annoys me because so many people have had such amazing results from using this and I wasn't sure that I got on with it the first time that I used it and so I kind of didn't follow it through. I'm going to give it another go. My skin is temperamental sometimes but honestly we saw um, Charlotte's, one of the girls that we're with, her results were amazing. I've seen Lorna's results, literally I'm like jealous so I'm going to give it another go because it's game changing and so much so that they offer like a money back guarantee on it because it's an expensive treatment that you can do at home but they're so confident that people will see amazing results that they'll give their money back, basically. So I've got that as well. And then I've got a little pot of eight hour cream for me. Not for you, for me. No, not for you, for me. Because mine's there. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a lucky, lucky, lucky lady. Yeah. And then that's it, isn't it? Snaz pot. Lally. Jammy time? Jammy time. I need to get out of my jeans and into some jammies. And tomorrow I'm having a no makeup gym day. <laughs> I've just I've just gone over to get my luggage. Sorry, I'm like half undoing my trousers here. And I was like, what's that? Is that like a picnic thing? And I realised that they brought in my breakdown kit. <laughs> Thinking it's luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Should give it to Paula. Yeah. Paula's car broke down on the way here. Bless her. I was like, what is that? Although it does look like luggage, to be fair, but that is quite funny. It looks like a cat carrier. I've actually never looked in here. Oh, it's not, it's not even been opened. I love that. Put a tag on it so that I know it's mine. <laughs> I am in my jammies and honestly, I am the happiest little jammy sloth there ever was. Oh, I haven't even taken my makeup off yet, but I'm going to. In a minute, I'm going to enjoy the uh, room. Although we're waiting for someone to come and put the fire on for us. So that we can snuggle in here. But I feel like I haven't really spoken to you today. Because obviously we got here. And it's not obviously not a place that you're supposed to film. But I did check in the places where I did film. Whether it was okay. And they were like, yeah, it's fine. Because there was no one else around. Obviously if there's guests and members and stuff. You're not supposed to film. So I was really like conscious and respectful of that. So basically I, I've come here because 
I'm, I wasn't able to come before Christmas and I get on really well with them and we live quite close to one of the ladies from Elizabeth Arden. So this was an opportunity for me to be brought up to speed with everything that they're like launching this year and any new releases and things that they're working on basically. I got to find out about it today and catch up with them and everything that's been going on with them and it just seems like it's all a complete whirlwind that they've been up to but it was just such a lovely day we went on a horse and cart had champagne and it was very very fun then we made quite botanical flowers which are actually on our dressing table there tomorrow I have a massage and I don't think I know oh I did tell you this morning that I've hurt my back so I'm hoping that I get a really good massage therapist because it's just aching I've never really done anything like this before in that I've like jarred my back but it's just aching it's just a sign of old age isn't it so I'm hoping that someone's going to be able to sort of have a fix of my back tomorrow then we might even do some horse riding and we want to go to the gym have like massages and stuff it's a bit of a treat. I've got some cashmere bed socks on already. And in a minute I'm going to do my skincare. And I'm going to be all squeaky clean. And it's going to be lovely. Um, so yeah. Anyway. I might get myself a tea or something. I don't know. So yeah. Morning everyone. We're choosing what we're going to have for breakfast. What are you having for breakfast? I don't know, because I'm scrolling through and everything I scroll down, Milan's going, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what juice would you like, chicken? We were going, ooh. <laughs> I'm having a energy and an energy one already. Is it? Yeah, an energy. No, yeah, an energy one. But I'm also wanting a glow one, a matcha shake, an almond shake. Ooh, the mocha! That's what we had last time, I'm sure we did. Oh, we didn't like it? No, I think we did, because I think I made a... I think I took a picture of the recipe so I could try and make it at home. But then you I was like... that, did you? But then I was like, what's MCT and what's Reishi? What is MCT and Reishi? Don't know, but you want it, don't you? You want, want MCT and Reishi. Right, what are you having for brekkie? Ooh! You do want pancakes, though, don't I you? I do, but I don't. Because if you go into a massage and they press on your belly, you'll fart it out the entire time. <laughs> One pan eggs, avocado. Oh, that sounds lovely. With poached eggs and chili. What are you having? I'm nowhere near the bottom yet. Oh. Ooh, what's a matcha bowl? Ooh. How many more oohs? Bagels. Ooh, haggis. What do you want? 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 I do. I want balls. You always want balls. I do, I like balls for breakfast, what can I say? Is that what you, have you got them with you? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, if you fall, I'm in big trouble. I've just had the longest shower of my life. I cleaned my face in the shower, as I normally would do. And then I've popped on some of the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin. And then I've got two, oh, of my three non-negotiables. I'd actually ran out of these though, and these are the few vitamin C, well, probably one of the only vitamin Cs that doesn't break me out. So I've got a handy little top up of these. So I'm gonna pop this on. These are the Elizabeth Arden Vitamin C Ceramide Capsules. Eh, pop that on. Mi Boat Race. Now these are the essential product for like brightening your skin basically. And I just massage it into my face like this. And these are handy for traveling. I can usually just throw a couple in like my toiletries bag or something like that. And obviously they come individually encapsulated, which is the purest form of the product. But I can take how many I need for how many days I'm going away. But I obviously also do this handy little travel one. So you can just throw that in your bag. So then once that's nicely absorbed into my skin, I put on the Elizabeth Arden Great 8 daily defense moisturizer and this is an spf 35 because i'm not really wearing any makeup today because we're hoping to do well we're having a healthy day aren't we yeah i'm gonna train you oh is that what you're doing today so spf on vitamin c on now i've actually ordered myself three different juices this morning i'm gonna have the ginger apple and lemon morning 
juice press thingy because I obviously don't have my tea here with me. So I'm gonna have that to start off my day and then I'm gonna save the others for later. I've also smothered myself in the cow shed. Was it the invigorating or the uplifting? I think it's the uplifting because that smells like it's got ginger in it and at the moment I'm obsessed with ginger. So that was why I did that. The plan of action for today is we're probably just gonna wear like gym kit and stuff like that and go to the gym. Carrie says she's gonna PT me. So that means she's gonna have me lift in some heavy weights. And, and then we're probably gonna, well, I've got a massage at 10. Oh, I didn't even think about that, what's the time? Oh, time. okay, so we've got time. Which actually, I think when I did that child's pose last night, it's pretty much sorted out my back. Good. So it's not as bad today, which I'm really happy about because it, it felt like it was working its way up my back. Do you know what I mean? Did it do a little wiggle? No, like it was getting worse and worse going up my back. That was what it felt like. But now it's fine. It feels better. I mean, I, I think there's a little bit of a twinge there, a little bit of stiffness, but not like it was. But yeah, so glowy skin, protected skin, and also they've got a new lip balm. That's, it's limited edition though, isn't it? If I want a tinted balm, I always go for corals because it, it's the closest thing to sort of my usual peachy nude lipstick, but in a nice sheer colour. And they've launched one, so I'm going to give that a try at some point as well. But... Good morning from your favourite Soho House Sloffy. Ooh. This is the outside, it smells like firewood. This is the tub that there was no way I was getting in. Little outdoor tub. Yeah, lots of spiders up there. Maybe, maybe not for me, but cute nonetheless. This is our little balcony. Oh, so lovely. I've literally fallen in love with this place. It's so nice. I've just popped some CC serum on my face and the new Arden lip balm. Lovely and corally. So that's all I'm probably going to wear today just because we are a little bit on my nose. We are having a healthy day. So we're about to head over for our massages now. Everything's packed up. They'll take all of our suitcases and load them into our car, which my car has been cleaned as well, which oh, the dream and starting the day well. So you ready? Let's go. I mean, we're both dairy free, pretty much. Don't drink milk, but cute. <laughs> Got firewood, wellies, and that is where we're going over there. Come on then. Oh, and our bikes, look. Our little bike bikes. Oh, it's just into It's made me appreciate this place a lot more. I've only ever been here like for lunch or things like that. And now I'm like, oh, I like it. <laughs> but massage time. I'm just in the individual changing rooms at the cow shed spa. I think I've just fallen in love with the lady on reception because she was so nice. <laughs> but I'm going to get into my robe and go and have a little massage. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry if it's weird that I'm filming from up here, but I'm trying to be discreet. We just had the best massages of our lives at the Cowshed Spa. Carrie is now taking me to the gym to PT me. She's gonna put me through my paces and then we're gonna have some lunch and I'm having the best day. No, she's only filming from that angle because she has trimmed her nose hair and wants to like <laughs> I trimmed my nose hair and it's the best thing ever. It's as smooth as a baby's bum up there now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Oh, it's very dark and I look like a crazy scientist because look at those alfalfa sprouts on my head. Hold on, we have to sort this out. Wait there, because <laughs> this, is, this is not a look. This is not a look. You guys can stay kind of there. Hi, yeah, hi. In fact, this is an invisible bubble and these always make my hair look weird. Hold on. Is that better? Do I look less? Okay, we look a little bit less alfalfa sprouter-y. <laughs> so, oh, a little bit of a bump there. I'm home. I'm home from Soho Farmhouse. Obviously, happily home, but also sadly, because I actually had such a lovely time. I'd only ever kind of visited Soho Farmhouse for like lunch or meetings and things like that. And I'd not actually experienced staying there. And I had a few preconceptions about what it was like and my whole view of it has changed and I loved every moment of it. That massage that I had was probably the best massage of my life. It was like my therapist was sent to me because obviously I told you about my back and it did feel a lot better that morning, but she was like clicking me and manipulating my body and like, oh, I just left feeling like I'd had 
a like full body MOT. It was amazing. That was such a great massage. Even just like the accommodation was wonderful. Like it's such an experience based place and everything is flawless like you just feel like you are in the middle of nowhere like a different world in the countryside and it really does encapsulate like the best of the Cotswolds and I loved every moment of it best salad I've ever had in the main barn oh my goodness then we went to the deli and we had these amazing gluten-free cakes we went to the gym obviously and Carrie PT'd me and now I'm aching because I don't really ever do weight training <laughs> I'm usually just body weight stuff so yeah that was an experience and I ache all over now but I've got home and when I got home Ali's manager was here so they were like just working on some stuff I don't really know what I just kind of interrupted and we've had dinner and Ali lit the fire for me we should be on the sofa watching tv now but he's on the phone so I thought that I would update you because usually I would get home and I think I'm gonna vlog when I get home I'm gonna vlog and then I just get into like my own time, like I've checked out of work and I just don't pick up the camera. And I didn't want to do that because it's another one of my like weird things that I need to like follow through on these kinds of small details. Finishing off content is so important to me and, and making sure that it all kind of flows. But yeah, I've had a lovely evening so far. I've actually got some Tala tracksuit bottoms on now and still my jumper from earlier. And I've got my my diary here because I'm going to do some planning for tomorrow and for like content and stuff like that. Carrie's in tomorrow. I've got reflexology tomorrow. So I'll still be vlogging tomorrow, but I think I'll probably look like this tomorrow. I don't think I'll be getting like ready ready because I've got a patch test because I'm having laser hair removal again. Laser hair removal is something that you have to upkeep. And it's been a good few years since I had mine done and had any like top ups or anything. And this time I wanted to make sure that I was going somewhere locally because for me having to go down to London like no makeup on have laser which is not like for me it wasn't a very enjoyable experience and then having to hop on a train home just I would be like red in my face because I was having it on my face as well like it was just I'd get sore as well because literally I have hair everywhere I am a hairy person and I'm not moaning because I, I don't think I would have it like the other way if I had a choice because I know that when I was younger I went to the doctors and they were like, oh, we could do like treatment, but obviously that could affect the hair on your head or the hair on your eyebrows. And I was like, no. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to Dermaspa to have a patch test. And in terms of like all of my beauty treatments, I've really fallen in love with going there. And I love the whole experience. I've fallen in love with the ladies that work there so much. And I just think that what they're doing is amazing. And they've really made like a little hub for themselves. And I was always worried about going over there because for me now, I used to live like five minutes down the road. Now I'm not five minutes down the road and it's good for me to go and obviously, like I've said, get everything done. So I'm I'm doing all of the things that I've put off for so long, basically, like laser and I'm having this derma pen, not tomorrow. I'm having it next, like the Friday after. Basically, Neelam Holmes, who owns it, she's also the founder of HD Brows and also more recently, Eyebrow Queen, which obviously I'm using the, not at the moment, but the Brow Fix, which is one of my favorite products so far of 2020 that I've discovered. And she does like my face treatments. And when she was doing one, she was like, you, your skin would really benefit from the Derma Pen. And so we're gonna do that. And I'm really excited. You do have some downtime from it. So I, I, I've made sure that I've got it at a time when I can have some downtime, if you know what I mean. But it should help with the open pores. And I've got a few like scars and things on my nose. Obviously I've been on Roaccutane pre previously and it helps with scarring but I just have a few things and I just want to improve my skin texture and stuff like that so that's cool I'm looking forward to that because honestly the way they speak about it I'm like oh this sounds amazing I've also booked in to go to the dentist just about booking in some things where I've had like some I have some discrepancies with my teeth and I don't think that I would ever be bothered about these things these are things that you're like bothered about if you do this job because online even though the beauty of our industry which is that it's what made it great it was the unpolishedness like we were the girls or guys next door just creating content and we weren't like the magazines some people that now watch this content don't see the beauty in that instead they just see the flaws of the normal people that don't have a team of people making them look beautiful all the time and they pick those things out, unfortunately. I think it's a way of the internet at the moment. I've had my teeth like mentioned. I, I think I've got great teeth, but I did suck my fingers up until I was 14. The only reason I quit sucking my fingers 
was I used to be in the athletics team at my school and for training we would go to Club La Santa in Lanzarote and I think I was one of the few people that was going from my year and I was going with all the girls from the year above and I didn't want them to think that I was a baby because I still sucked my fingers and had a blankie so I quit and that was my blankie that I'd had for like years and years and years and it was a very big moment but I never looked back I guess that was the kind of first addiction that I quit other than the other ones that we talked about on my blog if you haven't watched my or read my blog I'll link it down below so um I think it's this yeah because I would suck these two fingers I know most people like suck their thumbs but I sucked my fingers and then I put my blankie here and I would like rub it on my nose and so it it pushed these teeth out so this one's like my worst kind of pushed out and then sometimes when I'm talking I feel like it looks like I don't have teeth here hello puppet hello hello where you been you been on your travels <laughs> I feel like sometimes when I'm talking it looks like I don't have a tooth there which I very much do so um, I'm just going to speak to a dentist next week about getting that sorted because i don't want veneers i don't i think i'm too much of a wuss to have all of my teeth shaved down so yeah it's basically me just doing the things that maybe niggle at me now that didn't before and i know that people will be like oh don't fix those things there are some people that like love those things but those things hurt when people say things like that like no one likes to have things that you didn't even know about put in the comments so it was just yeah, it's one of those things. I shouldn't really cave to the pressure, but whatever. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. So I'll probably not be like a vision of gorgeousness. Not that I ever am, but I, I know I shouldn't say that, but I'll probably be quite chilled. It's Friday anyway. And I was going to do a meditation and yoga class, but Carrie wants to come into the office instead of doing that. So I don't want to go by myself. So yeah, that's kind of it. So at the moment, I'm going to do some planning. I've got some stuff to do on my iPad and then i think we're gonna go to bed so i shall see you guys oh i do have some boxes to open is that boring is that boring when someone just like sits and opens boxes i don't know i always think that i like to see inside people's orders but maybe i'll just unbox them and then talk you through it really quickly rather than doing because i feel like it just wastes time anyway i've been ordering some new kit for the for life and work basically so anyway, I'm going to get myself in front of the TV and get cracking on some bits and bobs whilst we watch probably The Crown or something like that. So, yeah. Wow, that was a long old chat. So, guys, sometimes I get verbal diarrhea, but oh well. <laughs>